Hi and hello to everyone. Welcome to the lecture one on signal sense system. In this lecture, we are going to start with the basic of the signal sense system. Uh, particularly, we are going to see what is a signal, what is a system, and what what are the types of a signal like what is an analog signal, digital signal, continuous time signal, and discrete time signal. Welcome to the lecture. Let me start with the what is a signal first. What is a signal? Signal is nothing but uh, it is the one which carries the data or information, right? A signal is the one which is carrying some information. Okay, we are experiencing signal every day, right? The movie we watch in the television, that's a signal because the light from the screen is impinging on your eye. You are you are able to watch the movie. The music you are hearing from your speaker, that's a signal. They are saying the music is loud, the music is good to listen because we are experiencing the signal. Our mobile phone, obviously we say the signal is very weak, or the signal is very strong, the tower is not there, you are saying. They are carrying some information, they are signal. Traffic light, red light is there, green light is there. It says some, it conveys some information, please stop, please move forward. Monthly revenue of a company, this is a signal. If the revenue of the company is positive and very high, we say the company is running good. If the revenue is low or it is uh, negative, that means it is incurring some loss. So this is a, these are some examples of signal, right? Everything is a signal, right? The temperature measured by a doctor to check uh, whether we have a fever or not is a signal. Okay. So these are all signal. Now subject will be dealing how to process this signal. Okay, fine. Now we move to the system. Okay, what is a system? System processes the signal system processes the signal okay to process the signal we need a system right i said doctor measuring a temperature of a patient to detect its fever or not okay the temperature reading is the signal but the thermometer is your thermometer is your system okay the television signal you are viewing okay that's a signal but the television is the system music from the speaker speaker is the system okay you can also see that the system may modify the signal or may extract additional information from them that's very important you take the speaker the input we are getting a um, getting a signal analog signal which is very weak right you are increasing the sound of the amplitude of the speaker we are getting a you are getting a good sound at the output right so you are modifying the output okay similarly you are watching, a, you are putting your pen drive and watching a movie, right? The pen drive input is a digital, right? The movie is analog. So you are modifying it. Okay. So TV, computer, radar, car, speaker, these are all system. In why car is a system? You are pressing accelerator. Like you are giving an input signal. The output the vehicle is moving forward. Okay. So it's a system. The system is the one which has input. Definitely a system should have a system, if I say this is a system, it should have, it process the input and gives the output. Input is a signal, output is a signal. Okay, in this subject we will be dealing with how to work with signals and system. Okay. Okay, let me start with the um, Yes. Okay, fine. You can see this is a signal I have drawn. Okay. Um, I will take it like this. Yes, fine. So this is your time axis. This is your amplitude, right? If you take any signal, uh, we'll be having two axes. Okay, two axes. Okay, this uh, x axis we say we take time. Y axis we take amplitude. Such signals are called two dimensional signal or 2D signal, right? You are watching a movie, okay? A movie, we say it's a two dimension or three dimension. 2D movie means most of the movies are, you like can say 90% of the movies are two dimensional movie. We wa what we watch in, your, watch in your television or mobile phone or the theater or two dimensional movie. Some movies have some special effect, like you can say Avatar. Avatar is a three dimensional movie. What is three dimensional movie? Three dimensional movie will have the will have the depth okay we have the depth i can say x y 
and Z. Right? And you have to be uh, very clear that this x axis need not to be always time. Okay? Because while watching a movie, what is there? You have a screen. This I assume this is a TV screen. Okay? Right? You are watching, a, let me say, there is a picture. Let me say a tree is there in the movie. Fine. I say this is x axis, this is y axis. So this is your 0, comma 0. Let me say how many pixels are there. Let me say this is n pixels here. This is n number of pixels 0. I can say 1, 2, 3, 4, up to n in x axis. Similarly, in y axis 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to here I can say m. Okay, m numbers of pixels in the y axis, n numbers of pixels in the x axis x axis right okay m number of pixels pixels are nothing but picture elements right you will be seeing studying these things in image processing okay here you don't have time you don't have time suppose i am asking what is this corner pixel what is the corner pixel in x it is n in y it is m so this should be n comma m n comma m okay then what about uh, this pixel someone is asking what about this pixel this corresponds to what is the corresponding y value y value is 1 this is 1 x value is n x value is n so this point is n comma 1 okay we can plot right so why i want to say this thing is need not to be always time x axis need not to be always time it can be like like you can say charge on the plate, charge on the television screen. Okay, here we don't have time. We have only the axis, x axis and y axis. Okay, and in Sigmarton system, we will be concentrating only on x axis as, as time. Okay, we are not going to deal with image processing or any charge on the plates. Those examples we will be taking. In Sigmarton system, we will be taking the x axis as time, y axis as amplitude. But you have to know that x axis need not to be always time it can be like as i ex explained in this example it can be like picture numbers pixel numbers right okay so this is two dimension this is three dimensional signal i can say there are four dimension is there okay 4d those things are beyond the scope we can explore fine now we move into analog signal okay what is analog signal as i mentioned here we have the amplitude here we have the time what is the amplitude amplitude is nothing but the height okay amplitude can take any values any values i can say it can take 0 1 2 3 1 1.5 1 1.9 1.999 1 1.67 it can take any values okay such signals are called analog signals the amplitude can take any values is called analog signal okay example i can say like analog signal i am speaking right Sometimes I may raise my voice, the amplitude is very high. Sometimes I keep calm, amplitude is zero. Sometimes it can take any values, that is the mean. So this is an analog signal. What about a digital signal? Digital signal can take discrete values. Amplitude can take discrete values. Remember, amplitude. For analog signal, amplitude is can take any values. For digital signal, amplitude can take discrete values. That is finite number of values. Okay. What is our digital signal? Digital, we will be using the term bits, right? I have one bit. I have one bit. What are the values it can be? It can, I can store zero, I can store, or I can store one. Suppose I have two bits. Okay, what are the values I can store? I can store zero, zero, uh, zero, one, one, zero, one, one. Okay. So these are the um, Digital signal, right? Digital signals, the amplitude can take how many values? Can take only one, two, three, four values. Here, if I have only one bit, it can take only two values. There is an example for digital signal. Amplitude can take only discrete values. What about continuous time? Go by the name continuous time. Okay, the time is continuous. So, we'll be seeing the time for all time 
okay you can look at the signal it is exiting for 0 0 0.1 0 0.2 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to time for all time the signal is there so this signal is a continuous time analog signal this signal is a continuous time analog signal okay what about discrete time the time is discrete right like i can say um, on average uh, revenue of a company okay revenue sales sales of a company every day sales of a company every day right okay i can say the first day how much the sale is there second day how much the sale is there here the day is the x axis it is discrete first day second day third day fourth day okay so discrete time signal okay fine now we look at other examples now this will give a very clear idea fine now look at the uh, i have given four plots observe closely and identify um, what are the two cases among these four you can fit into it fine what about this let us take the yes amplitude this is time this is x of t okay amplitude is continuous it is taking all values let me say give an example like uh, this is one two three four five okay if you observe closely you can identify the signal is zero two at this point at time zero this amplitude is two then it is 2.1 2.3 2.4 and 2.5 and that goes to 3 3.4 3.4 up to 4 okay it is taking all the values okay all the values or can take any values that is the meaning of this right so it is definitely an analog analog okay now what about the time axis look at the time for all the time the signal is there all the continuum of time the signal is there so it is a continuous time signal so it is analog continuous continuous time signal okay let us move to the next example oh fine now you see what about the amplitude let me plot say it here i write it like 1 2 3 4 5 okay observe closely the amplitude is 1 here 2 between 2 and 3 there is an amplitude less than 3 one amplitude greater than 3 one amplitude at 3 one amplitude less than 2 one amplitude greater than 4 one amplitude greater than 5 one amplitude greater than 2 one amplitude at 2 1 one amplitude less than 1 one amplitude is there okay so if you look this closely the amplitude is taking can take any values the amplitude is taking any values okay can take any values right so it is analog what about the time axis time i can say it is separated by this is first hour second hour third hour fourth hour fifth hour six hour seven eight nine okay it is taking only discrete time so it is analog and discrete time signal discrete time signal okay now we look at this example let us mark me mark here this is one two three four this is minus one negative amplitude so if you observe that you can see the amplitude is what is amplitude one is there then two is there again one is there then three is there then we have minus one again one again we have four okay so amplitude is taking what are the values only some discrete values only some discrete that is finite number of values what are the finite number of values it can be either one two three four or minus one so it is a digital signal digital signal what about the time axis all the time signal is there continuum of time the signal is there so it is a digital continuous signal digital continuous 
signal okay fine now look at the next example i think you can try by yourself here you can see what is the amplitude so to let me mark the amplitude like one two three four so look at the amplitude this is one two is there again one again two is there then i have minus one that's a negative amplitude then we have three then we have minus one then we have four then we have one again the amplitude here is digital that is taking only finite values what about what about the time time is discrete zero one two three four five six seven eight you know to be always zero one two three it can be like a zero two four or zero point one point two evenly spaced okay right okay evenly spaced fine so it is a discre discrete time discrete time signal okay let us conclude that to determine whether it is analog or digital we have to look the amplitude if the amplitude can take any values we say it is an analog signal if it is taking only finite values or discrete values we say it is a digital signal to identify whether it is continuous time or discrete time we have to look at the time axis for all the time it is there for all the time it is there means we say it is a continuous time signal continuous time signal okay if it is existing only for discrete values of time i can say it is a digital these are examples for discrete time signal not digital discrete time signal people always confuse with uh, digital with discrete time analog with continuous time please do not confuse they are entirely different analog means you have to look at the amplitude analog or digital means look at the amplitude continuous time or discrete time name itself is there right time is there look at the time okay let me throw some throw some questions to you let me find out how you are answering okay bright minds identify the type of signal okay i have given four questions okay observe the question carefully and give your answer in the comment section okay let me put like uh, what is q1 question 1 what is your answer q2 what is your answer q3 what is your answer q4 what is your answer okay what is let me say like, briefly explain i am taking the y axis cut off mark x axis student observe this is a signal okay here this is not time i am taking student okay student 1 student 2 student 3 right for student 1 what is the cut off mark student 2 what is the cut off mark student 3 what is the cut off mark identify whether it is a among the four thing we have seen in the previous slide right identify what type of uh, signal it is whether it is analog signal or digital signal or continuous time or digital uh, discrete time okay next question is average temperature recorded every day okay every day right so this is your day axis this is your temperature let me say uh, today you are recording the temperature what about the average temperature from the midnight to uh, 12 midnight 12 to the that day 12 to 12 i am taking right uh, 0 to 24 hours if i take what about the average temperature let me say the first of january second of january third of january what is the average temperature okay identify what type of signal then uh, you can see this third example is here velocity of cricket ball recorded in continuum okay cricket ball velocity okay i am talking continuum you are recorded for all time as when the time it hits the bat goes there and the fielder catches the ball what is the velocity okay identify what type of signal it would be if possible in your note you can draw the wave form or sort of wave form the last question would be like number of students getting placed every year in the department okay here the number of students is in the y axis here is the x axis right let me say 2017 18 19 20 how many students are getting placed 40 students in 2017 45 in 2018 35 in 2019 and 17 in 2020 okay it can be like this right identify the types of the signal okay and you have to uh, 
give your solution in the comment section like question 1 what are the what is the signal q1 what is the signal q2 q3 q4 okay i will be seeing your answers and i will be helping you in uh, helping you in your whatsapp groups okay thanks for listening have a wonderful learning thank you